Welcome to Eat, Pray, Plan. I'm Rebecca. I'm a wife, a homeschool mom to two adventurous boys, and I plan our lives one sticker at a time. In this video, I'm gonna share with you some tips and tricks that have helped me plan a happy life in hopes that they can help you too. So if you wanna see how I do that, come plan with me. Okay, so this is the moment that I've been waiting for. I am beyond excited to be sharing with you my 2021 planner lineup. So I don't know about you, but for me, this, this time in the planner community is so exciting because I love watching planner setups and planner lineups. I don't know, there's something about seeing what people are gonna use that inspires me and it makes me so happy. So, I am here to share with you my 2021 lineup and planner setup. Okay, so first of all, these are the four planners that will get me through 2021. So first of all, we have my homeschool planner. So this is a new type of planner. I've never used a book bound planner. And this one is from Tidbits Planner. And um, I received this a few weeks ago and I started setting it up. I, it's, you know, I, I do have a um, an unboxing of this whole collection because Cami from Tidbits Planner was so generous and she gifted me a whole collection. So um, I did do an unboxing. So if you wanna see that, I will link it below. But this is gonna be my homeschool planner and it's gonna be from January until December. So this is the first planner in my daily, in my uh, planner lineup for 2021, the Tidbits Day Planner. Okay, so next we have, let me share with you, let's do this one. So this is my personal size planner. It is a ring planner and I have shared this planner before. I have, I shared a flip through of this one in my, um, in my pink lineup. So I will also link that video below in case you missed it and you can see all the details of what's inside. But this planner is my faith uh the the planner that contains my faith journaling it also has um my reading log it also has podcasts so it has a lot of my fun lists in here and the motherhood bundle that we collabed with uh jess from the neutral planner so all that is here and i do share in that video how i'm gonna use it so head on over there after you watch this so you can see what's inside this planner and then we have this cute little planner and this is a pocket size planner and i use this as my wallet so it is very functional there's not much going on in here aside from dailies and um lists and note paper but i will share with you my my setup really quickly so this is a filofax pocket planner in the color ebony i purchased this over the summer and i found it on amazon and it is an a7 or pocket size ring binder so it is a smaller it is the one uh it's from the smaller size of planners and um it has silver rings and it has here a little zip pocket which holds my coins then it has a side little pocket here which i just have uh, a memo task card in case i need to write something down or give something uh, give like a quick little note to someone i have put here my ollie clip which i use this to clip important papers or appointment cards and stuff like that so i have that there in the back i have um receipts cash and some checks and then here in the back pockets, I have my cards, my library card, and it's really cool because it holds two each, it has four slots and each slot holds two cards, so it's more than enough space. I have here um, my Tidbits pen, which is the one that I am using and I love because it fits in the pen loop. 
So this planner does have an elasticated pen loop, but it does not fit the thicker pens. So I am happy that I received this one and it fits perfectly. And then I have here the 2021 um, vellum from cloth and paper and I have it laid over a picture of my husband and I and then here you turn it and it's my kiddos with my husband and then I just I cut down to size a uh, dashboard from Elmont Paper Co. So these are these are all over my setups. So I use these dashboards in all of my setups because I absolutely love them. So I did have an, a personal size and I just cut it down and it just became a pocket size. And then here I am using for my, um, for my monthlies in my pocket planner, I am using the inserts from Think Thing K and they are uh, a month on one page. So I love them because they have the calendar portion here that I can use to highlight and to mark certain dates down. It has a priority and it has a lot of space for important events. So since this is the planner that I use as my wallet, as my on the go, I do have the same uh, information here that I have in my main planner. So that's the only thing that repeats just because I like to have this as a reference when I'm out. And I have the entire year. And then we get into the dailies. So the way that I have set up this planner is I've just added three top tabs and these are the glass dividers from cloth and paper. I've just added three of them and the way that I use them is as page markers. So I turn to the the month that we're in, I turn to the day that I'm in, and I have just added several of the daily plans. I use these daily plans. These are from Simple and Trendy Co. And I use them in my um, A6 planner and in my pocket planner because I love the way that they're divided. So they have a today section for priorities a to-do list and then some notes. So I have a lot of those in here. And then we go into my notes section. And as you can see here, I just use this, um, this section and this planner for quick notes when I'm out for grocery lists. And it's very functional. It's pen with a few stickers here and there, but most of all, it is just, you know, quick, quick notes and some lined paper. And then here in the back right here with this little, I can't show you cause it's my password. So it's just, I like to have my passwords also with me just in case I need them. They're not like really important passwords. They're mostly like my social media passwords or any websites. So in case I'm out and something happens, I don't know, I get logged, logged out or I need to log in somewhere else because I don't know my passwords by heart. So I have this section divided here and then I have just some lists and then I have some half sheets. So these are from cloth and paper. And actually these are the ones that I got when uh, in one of my sub boxes and I repurposed them because they were sized for uh, mini happy planner size and I just cut them down and punched them. So if you do have a couple of sizes of like inserts and no paper like this, that you have in a different size, but you're not really using, you can always repurpose them and cut them down and just use them in your planner. Okay, so here I have the only stickers that I'm using. So as you saw right here in my week, in my monthly, let me go back. So in my monthly, this is all that I am doing. So here, so I am only using two different uh, colors of mini circles and my highlighter to write, to like highlight important dates and things going on in my monthly. And these are the ones that I am using. So I am in love with papery planning and the quality of her stickers. And I'm using two colors for my pocket planner. Again, simplicity keeping it very functional and the colors are cement 
and the mini dots and sand. So I have put them back here so I remember when I need to reorder. And then I just have them right here. And um, and yeah, they stay in the back of my planner. And then I have here the, the page lifter with some sticky notes and I have added some, uh, some of the little post-its in case I need them when I'm out. And that's it. So this is, this is my pocket planner setup. Very simple, very functional. It is my wallet, so it goes into my purse and it fits perfectly in my little mini, um, mini dome purse from Kate Spade. And then I have the star of the show. Okay, you guys, so this is it. This is my main planner. So this is the planner that holds everything in my life. It holds uh, dates, it holds events, it holds finances, goals, important information, everything. So this planner is, I keep it at home, and I keep it at home just because I don't need to have all this information when I'm out, but I do like the size. So let's talk a little bit about the actual binder itself. So this is an A6 binder. It is uh, from the company called Gilio, and I have been using this size I th since August. So I've consistently been using this size, and I have found planner piece when it comes to sizes for this season in my life, and that is in the A6 size. So this binder, is the leather uh agenda by Gilio in the color uh black croc it is the black it's not the matte so they have two different colors this is the um, the black one which is a little bit on the shinier side and it is just beautiful you guys i am in love with the way that the pockets are laid out with the ring size with the page uh with the fly leaf with the ring protector with everything the two pen loops so this binder the way that it's set up it is it is definitely planner piece for me so it has here uh four pockets and they are um i use them so i'm going to talk to you about the outer part of the binder and talk to you about what i what i have in each part and then we're going to get into the meat of things which is the inserts and how i've laid everything out Okay, so like I was saying, this has uh, four pockets on the side and I am using it for task cards. So these ta task cards are printables that I uh, purchased on Etsy from Hey Planner Girl and I am using them to track my AM routine, my PM routine, and these are just reminders. So when I start off my day, I pull out my AM task card and I make sure that I write this down in my planner or that I do these things. And then in the evening when I check back into my planner again, I have my PM routine. So I've started filling those out. And then I have weekly routines that I haven't filled out. So you can see how the task cards look on their own. Then I have monthly routines. I've started filling them out. And like I said, I printed these out on regular cardstock paper, so they're not the most sturdy ones. Uh, you know, it's not the most sturdy task card, but it works, it does its job. And since it spends most of its time right there tucked in, it's gonna be okay. And if I just need to reprint because they got all bent or yucky, I can do so because it is a PDF file and I have that on my computer. Okay, so next I have my January reference task card. So I love these. These are from Sessa V and um, I just write down here my top goals for the month and then this is just a reference calendar and I like how these have uh, the number here but it also has the, the month here and the year because you can either use them in uh, vertical uh, pockets or you can use them if you have horizontal pockets so see here you can just slip them in 
and you can see the numbers. So that would be, you know, month number one, which is January. So I really love these uh, reference task cards for the whole month and I keep them right here. Okay, next I have a little memo card and this I received as a freebie in one of my or my orders from Cloth and & Paper and I love it. I hope that they come out with them, you know, regularly and they, they have them available for purchase because I absolutely love these memo cards. So this I'm not using it. This is the only thing that is pure deco in my pockets because when I set up my planner, I made sure that the pockets were functional, that everything that I had inside was something that I'm gonna use in my planner. I did not want it to be um, filled with deco just because, as you can see here, my word of the year is streamline. And it means to make something simpler, more effective, or more productive. So I really took that word into consideration when I was setting up my planner. That's why it took me a while to do it because I was very intentional with everything that I put in this planner. So next I have here the, the dew drops that I'm using for my weekly color coding. So in my weekly, I will use these colors to color code our activities. And I have labeled here in the back special events, homeschool, birthday, important dates, and appointments because those are the categories for my color coding. These are from Sweet Caress Designs. This color is Wonder, Pale Pink, Oatmeal, Linen, and Haze. And um, I do have a discount code for you with Sweet Caress that it's valid until March. So if you wanna check it out, it's gonna be linked along with all my other discount codes in the comment in the description box below. So check that out. And it goes in here. So I have put them in here. Then uh, the planner has a second uh, long pocket that I don't use for anything. It's just there. So these, this is um, how I've set up my front pockets. Again, very functional. Now let's talk about the back pockets. So in the back, it the planner has, the binder has two uh, horizontal pockets and I have added some more of those task cards from Hey Planner Girl, and they are just, you know, for quick notes for shopping, memo, today, and some tasks. So I have just added a few here, and then you will see when we get into the, the inside of the binder that I have, these are the color coding uh, stickers that I'm using for my monthly. So the sheet that I received from Papery Planning, it's a little bit bigger, so I just went ahead and I cut, cut it in half. Half of it is inside here in my planner, and then the other half is just you know extras that I like to keep uh, here for when I need to, um, for when I need more. And then there is a zipper that I don't have anything in here because I don't really open the zipper and then I forget if I put anything in there. And then it has a big back pocket, which here I keep important papers and once I start receiving them and that's it, that's all I keep in there. And that's it, so this is the, the way the binder is set up on the, you know, the actual outside and pockets and now let's get in to the actual setup. Okay, you guys, so I am really excited about this setup because I really took my time. I made sure that it was uh, something that was gonna help me, first of all, be, uh, you know, reach my goals, be productive. It was going to keep me focused on what I wanted to accomplish in 2021. And that is why when I was looking for a word of the year, that is why I went with the word streamline. So when you open my planner, the first thing that you see is my word of the year. So I have it clipped with an Ollie clip. And this is from the collab that uh, Ollie Block did with uh, cloth and paper and it's their latest color, which if I'm not mistaken, I think it's, oof. 
oh my goodness, I totally blanked out. I forgot the color, but this was from the latest uh, collab and I have it clipped here with this vellum. So this vellum is from Elmon Paper Co. I will mention in this setup video the shops that I am using just because um, I want it to be as detailed as possible for you guys. But at the same time, I will also link the shops below so you can check those out. So this is my word of the year vellum uh, from Elmon Paper Co. along with the dashboard that I absolutely love. So this is the blush dashboard and I just have it in front of this fly leaf. I don't really need this fly leaf. I just feel that sometimes it just bulks up my planner a little bit more, but I do keep it because I love that it has the pen loop. So this pen doesn't fit. It, I mean, it could fit if I push it, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to force it. So I just keep it clipped like this. So that is why I like to keep the fly leaf. And I wanted to have something that as soon as I opened it, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the fly leaf. Um, I just wanted to add a little something. So that is why I clipped it. I clipped the my word of the year with the dashboards there. And then in the back, I have um, this 2021 holidays card that I received from Elmon Paper Co. in one of my orders. And then next, I have um, a protector. So this is just a plastic, um, a plastic sheet that I cut out. This is part of a, of a folder pack. So it's like those, uh, folders that you use in like file folding systems. I just cut it down to size, punched it, and I just put a pocket and I have a picture of my boys. And then in the back, I have the word minimalism in one of the ta the, um, the decorating, the decorating cards that we received from cloth and paper with the word minimalism, just so I can remember to stay focused because I am part, I am participating in the 365 freeze from um, that dash of plans Holly uh, created. So it's just, you know, a way to keep me on task and focus with my goals. Okay, so next we have the 2021 vellum. So this is an overlay vellum that I've layered it like this from Elmon Paper Co. And uh, then we get into the actual dividers and sections of my planner. So my planner is divided into big, into six big sections. So we have schedule, lists, projects, finance, goals, and miscellaneous. And then the biggest section is my schedule section. And I think that after that, it, it would be my goals section. So in my schedule section, I have three top tab dividers. And it's for uh, the page marker for my monthly, my weekly, and my daily. So all of the dividers, the cover pages in my setup are from Elmon Paper Co. Along with the monthly, the yearly calendar, and the weekly calendar. And then the finances are from Elmon Paper Co. And you will see it because you'll recognize the blush in the in the insert and um i think that's it and then the lists so all those inserts are from elmon paper co and then my printable inserts are from simple and trendy co from uh plan to create and peanuts planner co and um lucy plans life and I think that's it. If I've forgotten something, I will definitely post it in the description box below. So in my schedule section, I have added this, um, this pocket dashboard from Catspresso and it is top loading. And this is where I keep my mini dots that I use to color code our activities in my monthly. So, um, I have them just here. Again, I've labeled them in the back to know once until I am able to just know right away what each color means. I like to have them labeled so I know how what category to use them in. So I have stone, rose, nude, and linen. And then I have um 
Yeah, and then I have another decorative dashboard that takes me into my yearly planning. So in my yearly planning, I've created this reference um, card with birthdays, important dates, appointments, and special events with the colors that it corresponds with. And I've just started planning out 2021 using the color coding system. And then we get into a year at a glance and the year at a glance, it's just a place where I write down uh, important family events, birthdays, and any important school things that I need to keep in mind. And then we get into my monthly overview. So my monthly overview, um, it is a month on one page. And like I mentioned before, these inserts are from Elmont Paper Co. I love it because I can use my dots to color code here, but I have a, a lot of space to write down what each, um, you know, the important events that are going on on those days. And here I've, I'm using it to write down my two big um, personal goals for the month. So this is how they look without anything. And I have only added uh, up until April. I don't need to have more. And that was something that I was very conscious when I was adding the inserts into my planner. I wanted to have just what I needed. I can always, you know, when I'm done, I can always uh, put in May through August, for example, and keep it in here. I had no need to have the entire year. Then we get into the weeks. So my weekly section, I also have another color coding reference card for birthdays, important dates, appointments, special events, and homeschool. And then I obviously started using it already because we are already on the, the last week of the year. So these inserts, let me show you. So these are the way, these are the inserts that I'm using. They are the weekly number two from Elmon Paper Co. And she has two styles. This is the style that doesn't have a grid and a list option. And then I also have a style that has the list and a grid option. Uh, no, wait, this is not the one. Let me show you here. Here we go. Okay, so then this is the other style that she has. So it is, it has four lists right here and I use these for meal planning. And then it you, you turn it and you go into your weeks. And I use this for home to-dos, personal to-dos, for important reminders, and then for just notes. And then this section is just a brain dump section for anything that might come up during the week. So I really love this type of layout. So I did, um, I, I'm, I am using the one that doesn't have the list just to try it out, but I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna go back to the other one. So I've just added five to six weeks in here. Again, I don't need a ton of those inserts. And then I go into my daily section. So in my daily section is where I get creative. I like taking um, maybe 15 to 20 minutes in the morning just to plan out my day. And it depends on my mood. Some days I feel a little bit more creative and I want to use some stickers. And some days it is very functional just with a couple of... Um, a couple of little dew drops and pen and that is it so in my daily i have three different types of dailies so i have this daily from lucy plans life which is broken down into morning afternoon and evening hourly sections at the top then it has a to-do list and a notes section and then the other daily that i have is from simple and trendy co and it's just a long schedule list and then priorities checklist and notes and i just alternate these dailies there's no really rhyme or reason to how i use them it just depends on my mood and then the third daily that i have in here is the daily plans from simple and trendy co and this has, doesn't have a schedule so it doesn't have an hourly schedule but it does have a today a long to-do list and notes so all of them are undated because 
I think I plan daily maybe four to five times a week because if I don't so see this one for example I've used it Sun, I've used it sun, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. So if I don't finish something, I just keep using this insert and I just write down the days. Uh, that I'm, I just like highlight the days that I'm using it. And that's it. So this is the third type of daily that I have in my daily section. And then last but not least in my schedule section is my daily gratitude that I have clipped it here with a little clip just so I can have it all together and these are from Elmon Paper Co a line a day and I just have until April and that is it for my schedule section so as you can see it is pretty chunky but it holds like everything my monthly my, my yearly my monthly and my weekly and my daily inserts then we get into the list sections so my list section has different lists and I have set it up for YouTube videos. So this I'm going to write down the videos that I actually publish. And here I just, it's just a brain dump of ideas for posts and videos and uh, for my social media. Then I have an inspiration list inspiration for journaling for organization for planning and for homeschooling and what i've done is i've just copied down the instagram handle or the youtube uh link like the youtube name so i can just quickly reference when i'm feeling stumped or i need a little bit of inspiration in these areas just to go and just check these uh accounts and then i have favorite meals our family's favorite meals and then I have in-home date nights because I want to be a little bit more intentional with planning in-home date nights for my husband and myself so I've just um, I've left a list for that there and then we go into my projects section so my project section has inserts from Infinite Lotus. So these inserts are like this. So it has project name, start, end, budget, cost, objectives, brainstorm, to do and do buy. So the first one that I have is my 2021 planner setup. I do have a video. Uh, in which I brainstorm with you how I am going to set up my video. There's also a playlist of all of the videos that I have filmed that have to do with my 2021 setup. So check that out because I do have a video talking uh, specifically about this list and this insert in there. Okay, so then in after I have a couple of project sheets and then I just have some lined paper because I want to go and make a list room by room and see what things we need to upgrade or tackle in each uh, room in our home. And uh, that's one of the big projects that I have for the first three months of the year. So I just have some extra pages there. Then we get into my finance section. So all of the inserts from my finance section are from the Elmon Paper Co. Finance Bundle. And I have here a dashboard from Cloth and Paper that I absolutely loved. It, is, it's, it says changes happen in small steps and little leaps. So I just love the way this dashboard was um, laid out and I knew I had to add it. So first off, we have my bill tracker and then it has the bill tracker and a yearly checklist a yearly like check grid so it says bill due budget amount actual amount if it's auto pay and paid from and then you have here to check off when you've paid those bills and then a grid page for just quick notes then we have debt overview creditor balance rate minimum due and then the game plan to get rid of that debt and again some notes and here's the debt tracker so you can track when you pay to the creditor um, the amount you paid each month and when it's paid off and here you have another one of those and then saved instead of spent so this insert I actually bought it to kind of 
keep it as a wish list. So I want to really make sure that I don't do anything, like I don't impulse buy, whether it's planner related, home related, anything. I just want to make sure that I'm that I sit on that feeling of wanting something long enough to make sure if it is, you know, just like a super quick, you know, feeling that's going to go away or if it's something that I really really want and then I can plan it out how and when it's going to get purchased. So that is why I made sure to add one of the saved instead of spent insert and um and then I can just keep track of that. Then I have my expense tracker, my expense tracker and here I am using the quarterly overview to keep track of my total weekly spending. So I will just write down the amount. I will add up any expenses. Again, this is not just planner related. I don't know about you, but then sometimes I go into Home Goods or Hobby Lobby just to browse and see, or even Target. Target is dangerous, and I come out with a hundred dollars worth of things that I did not need. So I um I will definitely be tracking my spending here. And this is kind of my personal spending. So uh, we do track like family spending on the computer. So this is just for me to be more intentional with how I spend our money. And again, I just have until June and then I will take this page out and put in the rest of the year. And then I just added a notes page for just quick notes. Okay, so next we get into the goals and ideas section. I am really excited about this section because I have included a lot of really fun trackers that I am looking forward to using and filling out. So first we have the dashboard and I chose this one from Elmon Paper Co that says reset, realign, restart because it's, I think it's just a nice little reminder to have when you are setting goals and trying to achieve them. And then here I just have a brain dump list of goals that I want to achieve and in these different areas of my life. And then here we start with my goal planner. So I've started filling these out and this goal planner is actually a custom order from Simple and Trendy Co. So I drew this out for her and she was so amazing and she made it come to life. So I wanted to have a space, a spot for date started, date completed, the goal, the motivation behind why I wanna achieve that goal, progress, my action steps, any challenges, and then just a couple of lines for quick notes. And then, I have my 365 freeze tracker. So this tracker, I'm going to use it specifically for planner spending. So I do have, um, I do have a couple of, you know, rules when it comes to this, uh, challenge for myself and, you know, um, I will write them down here and that way I can definitely keep track of that. And then if I don't spend, I will just highlight the day and um, I will go from there. So I've just added January, February and March here. And then here I'm going to have my rules and my exceptions for these three months. So I am doing the 365 freeze and I am, you know, planning it out three months at a time just so I can reevaluate every three months and see how I'm doing and go from there. Okay, so next we have a fold out. So this fold out, it is from Plan to Create and I love it. So it has a tracker, a horizontal tracker in the first on the on one side and then it has a calendar tracker on the back side. So the way that I plan to use this is this is going to be for my faith. So tracking uh, my faith goals, which um, I'm going to track here the days that I do my prayer time and my Bible time. And then here in the back, I'm going to track when I attend church because now that it's online, it's it gets kind of tricky. So I want to make sure that I am, you know, intentional and I am attending online service more 
and I'm also going to track my Bible study days here and the days that I do devotional with the boys. And I'm going to track it with my Tombow markers because I don't want to I don't want it to be more complicated. Not that stickers complicate things, but then sometimes I don't have a sticker with me or whatever and I don't feel like looking through all the stickers, so I'm just going to use markers, my Tombow markers to color code and highlight and track those things. Same with uh, my wellness. So my wellness tracker, it's the same uh, fold out from plan to create. And here I'm going to track the days that I work out. And in the back, I am going to track um, any headaches, any sick days, uh, any days that we work out as a family. So it's gonna be all tracked here. And then we get into my habit trackers. So this habit tracker is from Infinite Lotus and I've been using it for a couple of months now and I like the way that it's laid out because it has here at the top habit. So you write down your habit, then it has why and how you're going to accomplish that. And then it has the 30, 30 or 31 days right here on the, on the um, right side. So these habits, will change uh but i think that i'm gonna keep the same habits for two months so uh you know they can really stick so i am starting off with checking our bank account because this habit goes hand in, ha in hand with one of my big goals for the year which is a financial goal then uh, a habit to journal and this is more of a, a self-care habit uh, so i can be creative every day and then uh, read aloud to the boys every day. So uh, I'm gonna be tracking that here. And then we get into another pull out um, tracker. And this one is from Simple, I'm sorry, no. This one's from Peanuts Planner Co. So this habit tracker, I am going to use it to track uh, a challenge that I'm doing uh, with the boys and it is a thousand hours outside. So here I am going to write down the amount of hours that we spent outside and in order to meet my goal, I need to spend uh, three hours, we need to spend three hours daily in order to uh, meet and surpass the 1000 hours and a minimum of two hours a day. So I am going to track that here in this insert and here you can see the back, it's the rest of the year. I have added here a little sticky note just to remind me of the chores that we're working on with the boys each month. So um, yeah, I have this tracker here. And then I have an adulting tracker. So this tracker, I've started to set it, set it up with like big important like adulting things that I need to uh, make sure that they happen every month and that we need to get um, some stuff sorted out. And then my home life tracker. So I've gone ahead, I've made the list of things that need to happen monthly or depending on the season and quarterly. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to highlight when those things are accomplished. So I will check in with these trackers monthly and weekly to make sure that I add them to my planning, my weekly planning section. And then I just have an extra tracker just in case because I have a feeling that I'm gonna need to add more for home life. And yeah, so that's it. So that is, this is my goals section in my planner and then we get into the list section. So the, I'm sorry, the ideas section. So the ideas section is where I have added my inbox and then just some note pages for uh, brain dump and just random notes and ideas that I have. So the reason why I've added the inbox here is because it really didn't work out at the beginning be at the beginning of my planner, I just would always forget and I would never refer to it. So the way that I'm using my inbox system for 2021 is I am using the sticky notes from Sim from Lucy Plans Life on this simple and trendy co insert. So if I wanna, for example, I wanna tackle some homeschool things, I will just take the sticky note out and I will just put it in my weekly insert. 
So then I can just go in and remember to plan those things out for this week. And then I will cross them out when I'm done and put them back here. And when I'm done with like all the three things that I have for that category, I will just toss the sticky note and add another one. So that is how I'm gonna be using the inbox system and then some brain dump. Okay, so next we have miscellaneous and I had added a little stop sign here because in the miscellaneous is where I have all the confidential information. So my uh, contact info, so addresses and passwords and things like that. So I can't share that with you, but they are from Infinite Lotus. So the contact insert and the password insert are from infinite lotus and then the uh page lifter and that is it you guys Whew. that that was a long chatty video but i wanted to make sure that i was detailed and that i was able to share with you everything that will be contained in my main planner which is my a6 planner and i will the guts will remain the same throughout 2021 everything the system inside it's well thought out i have taken my time to really plan it out in a way that will work for me the only thing that i will be switching out are the binders so the actual you know the outer part the agenda i will switch out between black and gray and pink just because depending on my mood that's, you know, that's what I use. I don't know. I didn't get that. Could you oh. try again? Oh my goodness, my phone. <laughs> no, we're not talking to you. <laughs> my my watch started talking. Okay, guys. So, um, yeah. So this is it. This is my 2021 planner lineup and setup video. I hope that I was able to... Um, inspire you to share with you uh, some ideas that you might be able to implement in your planning system. But I also want to say that you need to make sure that you create a planning system and a setup that works for you. Get inspiration from other people, but at the end of the day, make sure that you take time away from social media to just really think through your system and what you want your planner to help you accomplish. Because at the end of the day, our planners are to help us, to help us plan our best life and to help us meet goals and just, um, you know, be more present and intentional with our with our life so again thank you so much for spending this time with me i really appreciate your comments your likes and your uh being a subscriber to my channel and if you have any questions please leave them below i will check them out you can also reach me on uh instagram and i will link all the shops and all the information for you in the description box below Okay, you guys, well, this is it. I hope that you have a wonderful New Year's and I will see you in 2021. Have a wonderful rest of your day and stay safe and healthy. Bye, guys. Thanks for watching.